Hey guys, so today is the day that I decorate this house for fall. <laughs> I had Joe bring up all of the stuff yesterday and I was actually going to try to decorate yesterday, but I felt like I kind of like hit a bump in the road. Um, <laughs> a few things are different this year as I get ready to decorate for fall. So first, this is my first like real holiday decorating with a toddler. And <laughs> so uh, last fall and Christmas and everything like that, she was still just a little baby. And so she wasn't grabbing anything. And then the years before that, obviously we didn't have her. And so I didn't have to worry about like little hands grabbing things. Like in here, I just don't know exactly where to put decorations because I can't put them on the coffee table really because Harper would grab them. Um, and there's really no space for me to put them on the TV stand. And I can't put them there because Harper would grab them. <laughs> so I'm just like, how do I decorate this room for fall? And so last night I was just kind of like rummaging through our decorations and I kind of just needed to like see what we had and just kind of take a day and just kind of soak everything in, try to get the creative juices flowing. It is important to me to kind of teach her things to not touch. Like for me, there's kind of a fine line between just taking everything out of her reach so that she can't grab anything. Like, yeah, that would be super easy because I wouldn't have to like correct her and teach her not to touch that. Um, so that would be easy and nice, but I also want to teach her like, okay, this is a decoration and it's not a toy. <laughs> you know, like for me, I kind of want to be right there in the middle. There's no wrong way to do that. If you are the type of mom that just wants to take everything out of reach, I am 100% there with you. <laughs> because I think in parenthood, you have to pick your battles and you have to pick the battles that are worth it to you. And if that's a battle that's not worth it to you, then don't pick that battle. Pick another battle to pick. And if you're the kind of mom that wants to have like all of the pretty things out and teach your kids what are toys and what are not toys, and that is a battle that is worth it for you to pick, then pick that battle. You do you. <laughs> For me, I kind of wanna be in the middle. I've also learned that if you let them explore the item, usually they'll move on on their own. Whereas if you, if you never let them touch it and you always say no, like as soon as they get close to it, like to them, that is like a gold mine because they're like, why can't I touch this? I really wanna touch it. Ooh, hello. I just opened the door and was greeted by fall. <laughs> this was my site and the weather is probably like 72 degrees right now and it's slightly breezy and so it was just like all of the crispiness. I'm just gonna leave this door open. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Okay, so I got a little home goods happy. <laughs> It's actually TJ Maxx happy, but aren't they owned by the same place? I don't know. Um, but yeah, last I left you guys, I was feeling a wee bit uninspired, and so I thought that I would go to the store and see if I can find anything, and I did. I found this giant pumpkin that I am so excited about. I think I'll show most of it when I'm doing the actual home tour, but I got a fall wreath. I just have to document how crazy my house looks right now. It just looks like a complete disaster. Okay, so it is a couple of days later. It took me a couple of days to really figure out what I wanted to do with everything. There was a lot of trial and error, but I think that I finally got the house all ready for fall and I am so excited. I also thought that I would share with you just some things that I've learned this year on having child-proof fall decor. Okay, so here is the view when you walk in. Not a whole lot of fall. <laughs> I'm just now realizing. But you come in to the formal living room and dining room and this is what you see. So I will start over here by the fireplace. Again, this fireplace like isn't all done up, but um, I do really love how this came out. I think that it really warmed up the space and it's just super simple. So I just got some garland that I already had and just added it to the top with my current decorations. I added a couple of pumpkins here 
that I think I actually want to spray paint like a rose gold or something, but I didn't get that done in time for the video. And then I have this acorn <laughs> garland from um, Target that I got a couple of years ago. And then for the sofa area, I have the two fall pillows that I really love. And then I got this table centerpiece from TJ Maxx. And I really love the green color that it brings in. And then I also just put it on a little burlap runner that I had. So then for the dining room, I kept things pretty simple. I just put on this runner that I already had and then I had this little bowl and I just put some fall pumpkins and pomegranates and leaves just to create a little bit of an arrangement. And then for this little entryway area, I just added a couple of fall pillows that I actually got from the Target dollar spot a few years ago, probably like six years ago. And then I was going to add something to this table and I was also going to put garland on this stair rail, but when I did that, I just didn't like how cluttered it felt. I definitely don't wanna be overwhelmed by fall decorations, especially since we have Christmas around the corner. So for this front area, I really just kept things pretty simple and I really love it. Okay, so now coming in to the kitchen and dining room area and family room. Harper is just eating her breakfast right now. I will start with the kitchen. I really love how this came out. I feel like I brought in just a perfect touch of fall without it being too much. So first I will start with this vase here in the center. I just grabbed some foliage that I already had and put it in the vase that was already there. So super simple. I was also going to put orange uh, candles in there and switch out the white ones, but when I did that, it just looked like too much. I definitely just kind of wanted to keep things pretty simple this year. I just added some decorations to the window over there. So the big acorn lights up, but for some reason it's not turning on this year, so I have to put Joe on that. And added a candle, and I think that that is just the perfect touch of fall for me over there. So over here for the stove area, I just added a few small touches of fall decorations. So starting with this wreath, I absolutely love the way that this looks here. I'm so excited to put a Christmas one there during Christmas. I just love the warmth that it brings to this area. And I got this wreath from TJ Maxx. And then I have this little pumpkin painting that I actually got from Anna, from Randy and Anna. And then just a little dish towel. Over here, I kept things pretty simple as well. I just added a light up pumpkin that I got from Target a couple of years ago, and then our fall bucket list. So now over to the dining room area and family room. So I got this pumpkin from TJ Maxx and I really love it. I realized that I had just way too much orange decorations going on and so I wanted to bring in some more colors and I really love this mint color and it's a color that I already have in my decorations. And then I already had these lanterns and so I just added some popcorn kernels or some corn kernels. <laughs> some green apples again just to bring in another color and then just some berries that i actually plucked off of another fall piece of decoration that i have that i really haven't used over the past couple of years and then i got this runner from tj maxx as well i loved the different colors that it brought in okay so now moving over to the family room before harper <laughs> makes too much of a mess of it She's going for the toy, I know she's not. <laughs> so in here, again, I wanted to keep things very simple. And this was one of those areas that I really had to make sure was childproof as well. So I got this little floral centerpiece from TJ Maxx and I love it. I love the berry color that it brings in and the green. Again, just bringing in another color besides orange. And then over on the TV stand, I just added a little fall garland in the back of the TV stand so that Harper couldn't grab it. And then I added some little pumpkins and things to this large vase. And I was actually going to put this on the coffee table before I found the floral centerpiece. And my idea with that was if I put it in a large vase, she can't grab it. Although you can still see all of the beautiful colors that it brings in. And then I just have some fresh fall flowers with it and a little picture frame of a couple of really cute fall leaves. Another idea that I had to bring the perfect touch of fall into your house, but have it be 
perfectly childproof is to add some fall colored throw pillows and a throw blanket. But I will insert this Pinterest picture that I have. I think that this room is so cozy and it has the perfect touch of fall to it. But if you really look at the picture, the only like real fall decor is the orange pillows and throw blankets. So if you're wanting to bring in just a touch of fall, but you have kids and you don't want a whole bunch of knickknacks everywhere that they can get into. And then I added some fall garland that we have to the railings up here. And I think that it almost kind of decorates the area down below because when you're sitting on the couch, you can see it and it just brings in a nice cozy feeling. I kind of want to get some twinkling lights to add to it. And then down here, I just added a fall pillow and then switched out the flowers that I had in the vase for some branches and hung a little wreath. Ah! Hey you. So that is gonna do it for my fall house tour this year. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and maybe got some ideas for your house. All right, so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Are you playing with mommy's pillows?